Episode 1, The Introduction and Decision Making by the Pilgrim People. Our introduction of characters will begin with John Smith, who is a young, ambitious, courageous leader of the Virginia colonists. He has the final say in the decision making in Jamestown. He has an abundance of survival skills and the ability to direct resources to help expand the colony. He is a great negotiator and has created strategic alliances with some of the tribes nearby so they are able to put their strengths together. Next, there is John Rolfe, who is the most successful farmer of the Jamestown colony and was the first to successfully grow tobacco in the Americas. John marries Pocahontas and helps John Smith to direct resources toward certain parts of the colony. He has great interpersonal skills, and he is well-liked by all. He enjoys playing the devil's advocate with John and Chief Powhatan, which helps make them better decisions for the tribe. There is also Chief Powhatan, who is the father of Pocahontas, and is a wise, peaceful leader of the Powhatan native tribe. He makes the decisions for the entire tribe and has a strategic vision. He is a planner, so he is always keeping track of all the tribe's resources, and teaches the pilgrims how to farm. He always keeps the tribe's needs ahead of his own. Lastly, there is the beautiful Pocahontas, who is the daughter of the Powhatan chief and the wife of John Rolfe. She is bright and always willing to contribute to decisions made by the colony. She uses strategic planning to help the colonists create a strong, big picture of the colony's future. John Smith and the Pilgrims have just landed into Jamestown to attempt to build the very first settlement in the Americas. As the colony leader, John Smith has a lot of responsibilities. He must keep the resources flowing for the colony so they don't freeze in the upcoming winter. He must ration the food they brought while attempting to learn how to farm in the new terrain. John Smith knows that to survive, they need to build walls, produce food, and prepare for the winter. To accomplish these tasks, he must work and contribute his decision-making skills for the sake of the colony. I have an idea. We will break up the work evenly amongst all of the men and women and children. This course of action will allow work to be done efficiently and effectively. The colony listens to John Smith because they trust his leadership abilities. John Rolfe, however, has a different idea on his mind. I think that the work should be divided up into segments. Men should hunt, women should gather fruit, and they should harvest, and the children, well, they, they should all propel all the meals. John Smith put in an ethical dilemma because both ideas were valid options that could work. John Smith took the universal approach by choosing an option that he believed would benefit everyone of the colony under all situations. I have decided to proceed forth with John Rolfe's idea. He chose this decision because it keeps women and children safe close to the campgrounds. This choice will benefit the colony as a whole by ensuring safety. John Smith learned the value of decision making within this episode. He first chose the, his own idea because it was an efficient option. He had to look at all the options by taking the universal approach for the sake of the colony. John Smith performed excellent management skills within this first episode by making the right choice for the colony. The end.